Hello, hello everyone, my name is Destra and welcome back to the host seat. So, in real life it has been a month since the last part was recorded. Hopefully it won't be as long in between the, the uh, this part and the next part. Surely it won't be, uh, well, I'm not going to promise anything because, well, I thought this would surely be on like the 10th episode by now, but uh, I'm right now recording the 3rd, so, anyway. Also, I found out that my game loves crashing, so this is not the first take of this turn. So that is why I may be rushing a few things here and there. Anyway, so the situation is not looking good for us. Good, good for us, but um, we are getting some help eventually uh, from both Denmark and hopefully, unless they are lying, which is definitely possible in this game, a few other people as well. I'm not gonna name any names, but obviously you saw one of them. So, uh, what is happening? Well, we are not really looking that good, are we? Not at all. So, um, as I did, uh, this, uh, this is something I did previously, I pretty much abandoned all of this um, to consolidate my forces and not have several cities that had little to no defense. So, yeah, that was kind of the thought there. So, I also, I want to take this town. I want to take it back because this, this guy, he, well, he did exactly that random drive-in, although I would say drive-by, he took it, so I want to take it back. And the way I am to do that is, yeah, I should be able to demolish he, these guys in open field battle. Uh, the first time around I was quite cautious, although I should, um, let's see, how do you quick save here? Can I just quick save? Um, Let's see. Control options. Um, no control, apparently. I can save a game just with, like, save it to that, I guess. Yeah, I can override it. Um, yeah, because I have experienced a few crashes in battles, and that is the thing that is making this not the first take. So, let's go and fight this, and if I suddenly cut... Just about now, uh, or, or a little later, after I finished this sentence, uh, then you know that uh, that the game crashed, so that's fun. But it looks looks fine. Well, at least it does right now, as it typically does. So let's start this thing, start deployment. Uh, it, in some of the previous takes, I have attacked the city and just captured it outright because the reinforcement didn't get there in time. But I think I should be strong enough in order to um, take this in the field battle. Well, in fact, I know I am strong enough to take it in the field battle. Uh, I've also done that before. So there we go. Although I did forget to bring up one unit. One cavalry unit. Oh well. Let's see. Okay, the troops are over there. That should be easily dealt with. Also, let's send the cavalry. Um, I can either harass these guys. Well, actually, they'll take a long time to get there. So, provided that I can actually get rid of this army quickly, then it really shouldn't matter. At least that's the hope. So, forest battle, which I'm not typically a fan of, but I think I'll manage. These guys are firing back, and Prussian archers are charging. And shortly, these order spearmen will also be charging. Based on previous experience. And, yeah, you really shouldn't be firing fire arrows. Not at other archers. So, are the Teutonic Order rushing in? I think they are. Actually, it might uh, be a better idea for me to just charge them. I don't know, though. Well, if they want to leave their uh, their archers and protected, then I surely won't wait to kill them. Because that makes sense. 
not really at any risk of being surrounded, which is good. Oh yeah, I also have in skirmish mode <laughs> and charging at the same time. I don't think that's a good combination at all. Anyway, are these guys actually attacking me anytime soon? Also, stop firing. There we go. Nope, still not charging. Huh. Well, there were those archers, so that's uh, all the archers you've got. Good luck with that. And now you can turn fire arrows back again. Oh, are you retreating? I don't know what you're doing. But they're not attacking, that's for sure. Well, I guess I can take care of these guys then. Quite easily. Or at least it should be pretty easy. You know what? Let's uh, have one more unit. Stay back, just in case. Well, or uh, is that even worth it? I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Just do a, a classic hammer and anvil thing. Should be zero problem doing it that way. Have you returned yet? No, you haven't. Actually, I think I'll try to chase you down and annihilate you completely. Just because I do not want anything of this army to survive. That would be ideal. Oh, you're also firing. Yeah, this is surely causing a lot of friendly fire. So, just in case. Oh, you're light militia. Yeah, how long are you going to be able to hold out? Not long is my guess. Hopefully this can shatter them immediately. Should be uh, able to do so, I think. Well, that is um, one of the generals. Technically their captain, but fair enough. I guess it was the general of the uh, the garrison. Or the captain of the garrison. Depends on your, on your uh, definition of that post. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to be, get caught, although I have seen Archer do some silly things earlier, previously. So, uh, may have to keep an eye out for them. No, they appear to be uh, competent enough. And at this point I should have no issue taking care of these guys with a mixture of cavalry and my infantry. Actually, probably would be a bit better to drag him out into an open field and not fight in the middle of the forest, given that one of my advantages right now is um, lots of cavalry. So let's get that done. Although that does mean that I have to bring my cavalry a bit closer in. Also, let's turn on the skirmish mode again, as I'm not really interested in... Uh, these guys turning around and uh, taking these guys out before I'll I'll be able to react. You guys, I think all of you can pretty much go to here. That should have you escape harm's away, I think. Let's see, you all have your shields on the left side. So, these guys are not really that effective, are they? These guys more so, because they're right behind them. Well, it's getting a bit better, I guess. Oh, and of course you are walking. Because why wouldn't you? That was not the intent. Starting straight into my best units, eh? Let's see how that works out. Uh, I think you can actually sit that one out. 
Let's see, where's the old unit? There we go. So, turn on skirmish mode. And, yeah, I think it's best for you to not fire at anyone. Well, it's best for me to have you not firing, firing at anything. Oh, that's a general, technically. Let's make sure to break him. Capture him, technically. By the Lord, our I don't think I will be doing fight. that much. Uh, okay, the battle is over. Uh, unfortunately, I can't turn them down, which is a shame. Glorious. The battle is just gonna end in... Yep, there we go. So, um... I don't know, but I think... Well, at least the previous times that happened. I think the crashing is happening due to, um... Me zooming in. So, you also notice that the game gets quite choppy when I do so. So, sorry about me not zooming in on the uh, the armies, but it seems to be the cause of my problem, so... Not gonna do that. But what I'm also not gonna do is save these guys' as lives. Because of reasons I have ex uh, explained previously, so... Also, let's get this taken back. Just because I can't have holes like this right in the middle of everything. This should be... Ah, yeah, there we go. 28. I can take that. That might be more than I took in the other battle. Probably probably weren't, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, famous battle. Are there actually any other famous battles here? Yet? Not in... Not in the vicinity, at least. So, hooray for that. Oh yeah, here we go. So, archers. So we have something protecting Vilnius. And this cavalry unit originally was... Um, part of the attacking force. So, this is a battle I... This is the last battle that will happen, and it will happen shortly. So, only a few of these guys actually do have the range to reach that. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, only two. That is it. Which freaking sucks. And... Only family members can recruit mercenaries. Do I have any available mercenaries? I don't think I have. I can have you, like, leave the... Well, can you leave? Yes, you can. Oh, you do have some available. Nice. It will cost me quite a bit, though. I'll test it like this. Well, I guess not really testing it too much, but... Uh, God damn it. You don't have the range. Should have saved you a bit. That is annoying. That they do not have the range to do so. And I can't really have you uh, recruit mercenaries, can I? No. Oh well. Now for the other thing that is happening. My king now got his siege weapons. Which, in addition to a ladder or two, is gonna make this quite simple. So, let's assault this. And I seem to remember that the previous soldiers of this had zero casualties on my side. Let's see if that happens again. Yeah, there we go. At least it's consistent. More than can be said for, um, well, at least Empire. That is notoriously inconsistent with his old results. Well, that or just widely unpredictable. So, question is, how much more do we bring to Moon Slovenia, which I'm fairly sure is um, of what is here? Uh, Riga? This is Riga, right? I think so. If I'm not correct, I'm sure I will be uh, be corrected rather quickly. 
But yes, this is fairly undefended, and if I do succeed in what I'm trying to do, which is to lift the siege and win this battle, which is going to be hard, but I were close to uh, actually doing it the previous time. Although I might have been lucky the previous time, so you never know. It might not go my way this time. Anyway, uh, first have these guys go there, and uh, next turn should not be enough for these guys to reach anything. I'm most concerned about losing my capital. Well, when I said anything, I really mean my capital, so, yeah. By the way, uh, Space Slovenia, which we're going to call something else. There we go. I think that is fair enough. That is the only castle I currently own. But at least I own the castle. So there's that. Um, oh, I need to repair it. Do I have enough cash to do that? I'm actually not sure. Wow, this might be a heavy blunder. Okay, I do have enough. Whew, that was good. Oh yeah, and I also want to move just to... <laughs> just to remember to do that. How long was will this take? Uh, three turns? Two turns, actually. Barely. Well, it would be nice to conquer this next turn. I don't think the Teutonic Order will have enough time to react. But let's go ahead. Let's see what we can do. And there we go. And apparently, the peasants really like it when they are in control. So let's keep it that way. Okay, so now for the big one. Which is, as I said, where the game crashed last time, so hooray for that. So because of that, let's save, save this game before we do anything more. So, same rules apply. If <laughs> you experience a sudden cut, well, then you know why. So. Just making sure that I don't have anything else I want to do. Well, I actually do have something I want to do. Definitely here. Um, I'll move the cavalry, because that doesn't take that long. There we go. Once again, trying to consolidate my forces, so I actually get a, a con concisive army. Coherent army? One of these words are correct, I believe. Okay. So, and even if we win this, another stack is coming. And another pretty good one is also coming. Uh, yeah, as a general rule, the Teutonic Order is the best faction in this uh, expansion. Just because of the sheer powerfulness of the general mass of the units. Which makes it uh, hard as the faction that is described as the one with the weakest infantry to uh, make a difference. Although I do have quite a bit of cavalry, so thankfully there's that. But that said, I do not have that much infantry, and purely cavalry doesn't win you many battles. Not many big ones, either, at any, at any rate. So, just once again, just so in case this crashes, I don't forget to do those small things. So now all things has been done, I believe. Also, finally some decent infantry. Uh, mercenaries, unfortunately, but beggars can't be tutors. So, finally, let's go for this. So, two to three. Uh, what are we looking at? We are looking at uh, 1300 men. Actually, close to 1400 men. And uh, a bit close to 3100 men. So, those are the odds we are facing. I have faced worse before, definitely, in campaigns. But this is against a human player. This battle is not against a human player, thank you. But even if I destroy most of this, I am... Uh, well, I think he may be able to um, do, some, do me some harm, even with that. You never know. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this looks pretty much identical to what it did last time. If the same thing happens, they will drop their siege equipment and run. Uh, 
And basically, I think I can just mass the rest of the units here, because I'm going to place them a bit better. Uh, well, yeah. If I actually could mass them right there. Okay, do it the manual way then. Which is not working. Why is it not working? God damn it. Okay, there we go. Turn off all the ammo usage and keep skirmish mode on. Okay, start battle. So, are they gonna do the exact same thing? Yes, they are. And this also happened, which is something I have rarely seen before. But it's very interesting, nonetheless. Enemy reinforcements delayed? Reinforcements that would normally have arrived during this battle has been omitted. Your PC may require upgrading. I doubt that, given that it's pretty upgraded for the year 2015, and this game was made in 2007. With the option and settings you have specified for level 2, your current PC hardware is only capable of dealing with the initial forces from the start of the battle. If you wish to address this issue, yada yada yada. Um, yeah, so I don't know why that is... Uh, well, I know what the game thinks that is happening, but I don't think the game is correct. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know why. So, they are retreating and are going to set up a position, okay, about there. Which is why I masked... Sorry, just moving a few wires. Uh, which is why I masked all my men right at the gate, because I'm going to set up my men outside of the fortification. But the majority of the damage will actually be done by cavalry. And yeah, who also save the ammo for you. Oh, are you moving? Are you actually moving? Probably correcting correcting your position a bit. So how much did I kill there? Actually quite a lot. Although most of them, if not all of them, archers. But right now. They do have more archers than I do. Well, actually, I didn't kill the archers. I killed the uh, the order militia. Huh. Well, they are actually easily killable by a cavalry cavalry charge by these heavy, heavy cavalry men that thankfully I've got. Thankfully, I've gotten something. Oh yeah, and the archers uh, really like to take potshots, so they're actually edging forward a bit. So, um, the enemy are reinforcing over there, but they're not coming immediately. However, my reinforcements are also delayed, for, I'm guessing, the exact same reason. So, you win some, you lose some. Although my reinforcements are not as massive as the enemy reinforcement is, by any means. As you will see, shortly. Should also be noted that in this army, the enemy doesn't have any cavalry, something that will be rectified later on. Wait, you're archers, right? Yes, you are. Let's keep you in one group then, and actually have you go here. So these are javelin, javelin men, javelin horses, whatever you want to call them. And heavy cavalry has already left the city. That should be everything. And here's the main square. So. Last time the battle went really well. After I took my time. But you never know. I may be very... This might be a very different battle. Although, if the archers are gonna do this, then it might be very much the same. Uh, the main units I'm to worry about here are the Order Spearmen and Brugger Spearmen. And they have two of them. These Order Militia, they're Militia, the Light Infantry, they can be charged down by Heavy Cavalry. That is actually 
pretty easily done, I would say. Oh yeah, I did turn fire will off, which is good. Love how they just cancel the charge. That's fun. Thank you. Well, I should still win that battle pretty easily. Unless they do exactly that. So let's get him out of there. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, well, you say that now. I wouldn't really agree. Okay, I lost one horse, but that was on the charge. Well, before the charge. Well, uh, never mind. There we go. Lost another one. Oh well. So, I'll do the same thing I did in the last battle, which is to try to surround with these guys. Or, not really surround them, but uh, surround them on three sides, I guess. Okay, now they should definitely be out of supporting range. Right? At least some of them. I think so. Maybe not this guy. Yeah, those guys will get back to where they once belonged. Okay, javelin man, go for it. Actually, go more for the Brugge Spearman, because, well, they're better Spearman. Let's see, where are your archers? There we go. Well, the archers are currently not being <laughs> munched on by my heavy cavalry. Also, really need to keep these guys alive, by the way, because they're pretty powerful. It's one of the few main advantages I have in this fight. Yeah, can you, like, leave? That would be nice. Although these guys can be easily countercharged. Because, once again, they don't have that many spearmen here. They have mainly light infantry. Why did you get. Okay, never mind. It's actually, why are like 139 order militia routing? They're not. It's actually Persian archers that are being. Routed. And shockingly enough, javelins do a lot of damage. So men are really falling left, right, and center here. You you trying this again? Really? Yeah, not happening. In okay, the reinforcements are coming already. Well, seems like I am a bit slower this time around. Oh, you turned around the second I, uh, I turned around. Hmm, shocking. Someone like your your an AI, and knows what I did the second I did it. Hmm, fancy that. But that will eventually bring in my reinforcements. Not now, though. And I don't think they will get all the reinforcements. Or maybe they will. So, here you go. <laughs> cavalry, cavalry, spearmen, spearmen. Quite a lot of spearmen. Even more spearmen. And a few archers, I believe. Not a heck of a lot of them, but uh, quite a few.
Our foes appear to be gaining only intervention by the almighty lord or a military... Yep, this guy is not really that, um... Yeah, isn't that hopeful at all. So these guys can pretty much be killed. As can most of these these guys. Those are spearmen, so please no. Yeah, there we go. One good charge, and they're pretty much all dead. And if I do a bit of this... And by the way, when when he says that the enemy has lost half their men, what he really means is that the first enemy army has lost half their men. So it's good, but uh, not amazing. Okay, those are the Brugge Spearmen. Both of them are right here, right now. I think I'll bring out these guys. Um, and have them try to do something about it. Quickly, before these guys actually reach the battlefield. So, this massive blob was actually routed, which is good. Are you in... No, you're not. Okay, that's good. You're not wasting your ammo. Needlessly. Uh, where are you going? Really? I can't remember telling you to do so, but surely I did then. Oh yeah, and you are on fire at will mode. Let's stop that. Well, actually, well, you're not technically on fire at will mode. Let's have you on, you fire at whatever I tell you to fire at mode. Let's see if I can get a quick route going in here before these guys take all the fun out of it. And there we go. Try to get out of there. Should be enough to take care of them, I think. Okay, so that actually went a lot better than it did originally. But that is not really <laughs> the part of that encounter that I'm the most worried about. the second army, the reinforcing army. Also, I should say that, um, well actually I won't say that, I won't be, well, I'll keep it in and if I win I'll say it. Shouldn't you be turning the other way? You're actually facing multiple ways. Oh yeah, I wasn't supposed to zoom in where I... No, not at all. Okay, so one general down. Although he's not killed. What is happening here? Oh yeah, he, they're running after a, um, a chased unit. So, line up anew. Although this line is uh, not going to be the best. Because they have very much infantry and also quite a bit of cavalry. So much damage did I actually suffer? 9%. But the enemy has now almost actually taken 50% damage. It's not, it's not a lie at this point. I 
Yeah, you are not lined up at all. Actually go and line up a bit further back. And I need you to run. There we go. Okay. How did I have this? You... Over on this side. I think that is still a, a decent enough tactic. Also, fire and will, uh, sure, at this point. Because things are gonna happen quickly. At least it did. Previous. Previous on. On Stiffstra has battles crash on him mid battle. Well, duh. But you know what I mean. Shut up. And now we wait. Mostly for the spearmen to try to crush me. Do they actually have any archers? They do have some. Let's see. Those are archers. And I know that those are archers as well. More archers. So they don't have that many. I think they actually have the exact same number. Ooh, clerics. Or clergymen, or whatever they're actually called. But mainly... Ooh, Ritterbruder. Or Ritterbruder. Ritterbruders, maybe. Yeah, fire arrows. Probably the most effective right there. Given that these... Well, none of these are light infantry. So that is kind of what sets them apart from the army we faced earlier. And the fact, once again, that they have quite a bit of uh, actual decent cavalry. Yeah, I think it's time for you to run. Also, okay, I didn't move you. Oh yeah, because I didn't see that I actually had any ammo left. Sorry. Sorry about that. And they're going into a... Um, a very unprotected line here, which is an issue. Although they are spearmen. So, at least there's that. Oh, and they... Wow, they actually run a lot quicker than I thought it would. Oh, they're light cavalry. Well, never mind then. I take back everything. Okay. Now to perform a miracle. Probably not gonna happen. But you never know. Okay, let's try to break that. Let's try to have those guys leave permanently. That'd be nice. I love it, they're charging that unit and throwing spears into the backs of these units. <laughs> okay, okay, that happened. Good. Let's go for the next target. Okay, those are the Ritter Bruta. Let's try to get out of there, although we are starting to get slightly surrounded. Although the clergymen right there are light, they're light infantry. So we have a greater chance of actually making it happen there. How did you get there? No, seriously, how did you get there? Uh, I desperately need to take care of that. I don't care if that's the king. He, well, general, he better get going. Please don't route, please don't chain route, please don't hammer and anvil break me. There we go, cavalry starting to break. Oh yeah, I am receiving reinforcements. Um, well, they are here. Uh, I didn't mention it, but I have gotten reinforcements. Now half of my force remains. 65% of the enemy force remains, but... Uh, looking at this right now, it's not looking that good. 
Oh, maybe. The enemy, general. the enemy general is dead. Hopefully they will actually lose their will. That'd be good. I also still have quite a bit of cavalry. So there is some hope here, although not a massive amount of it. Fight into the death, eh? Oh, routing. Come on, continue this. Good. Can I get the proper chain route going? That would be amazing. Oh. It's happening. It's happening. You are missile units. Heavy infantry. You don't spare infantry, so I can actually charge you. Although you are being... Never mind, those are archers. I think I'm gonna win this. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this, uh, this looks a bit better than it did the last time I fought this. Okay, so get out everything that isn't infantry. So all of you, uh, leave. But the rest of you, which is you, you, you and you, you can continue to fight those guys. And, yeah, when I said leave, I definitely meant you should be running straight into the enemy units. You are so amazing. Yes. Yeah, have you heard the great, great feedback that, uh, well, the great reputation that uh, <laughs> the Total War games have on the pathing, path the path system? Yeah, me neither. Although in some games it is completely acceptable. But right now, yes, I definitely would want this to work just a little bit better. Yeah, I should have cycled charges this guy, but I were I was a bit preoccupied with other stuff. So another charge should kill that guy. If I have enough charge distance. But not like Yeah, that should be enough. At least, oh, never mind. There we go. Those guys are waiting to die, pretty much. Okay, so there's no way I can lose now. So I can say it. So the guy that is playing the Tutor Nagorda, he, well, I talked to him in between crashes because this happened several times now, and I talked to him and. Um, uh, yeah, I said I had crashes and all that good stuff, and he asked me, where did you crash? And I said, in the battle, and he said, well, yeah, he was fishing, like, trying to find out exactly what battle, because, well, clearly we're at the war. Um, so he was trying to fish, and it's like, uh, it's the big battle with the two stacks, uh, taking down your city? Yes, it is. Surely you can't win that battle, it's impossible. Well, look at this. This definitely was impossible, right? Right? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so finally this is actually done. Uh, I'm gonna kill every single one of these guys because, yep, same logic. I do not want this guy to get these guys back, although 6,400 would be good. But no, I'm gonna kill them. So that is one of their major armies done and dealt with, which is good. I'm currently about to take Riga. Previously, Riga. I think I'm about to rename that. There we go. I don't know if don't know if I spell that correctly. Oh yeah, that guy was dead. Doesn't matter. The the guy at the start of the video. Okay, so... Uh, well, it can't crash now. Well, it can, so let me just do that. 
Okay, so it didn't actually crash this time, which is pretty good. So, uh, as far as I'm aware, although I don't have that uh, huge range on my vision, but as far as I'm aware, he has lost two main armies, and he has another one, but evidently I'm capable of uh, taking out Teutonic Order armies, even if the odds aren't in my favor, like, at all. So I do not have any cash, but once it actually gets recruited, uh, recruited, repaired, I can get set mounted Tartar Lancers, should be pretty good spearmen. Estonian Rebels, which I don't think should be that good spearmen. And Tatar Lancers. Tatar Lancers. And, oh, more peasants, exactly what I wanted. Tatar Lancers. Peasant Archers. Yeah, nothing amazing just yet, but slightly better than the utter crap that I get elsewhere. So how are my finances looking? Uh, okay, just about, just about, uh, just sailing past uh, on my current money. But yes, so, the tonic order, I think you have a match on your hand. Anyway, it's going to be fun to see what he's going to do next turn. Maybe bring in another army that I didn't know about, which is completely possible. Hopefully my allies will uh, get uh, get up all up in his business and help me out a bit uh, before he kills me off completely. And uh, I think they should be able to capture maybe two cities. Or at least get to them and start laying siege. He didn't bring any... Siege units, which is why I, why I was able to take that back immediately, and he was not able to take that immediately. And look what happened then. Can I actually train anything here? Uh, yes, and <laughs> yeah, recruit these. Uh, well, retrain those guys immediately. Anyway, I think this part has gone on for quite a bit, and I think I'm starting to ramble a bit. But finally, this turn has been played. And I can send it to the next guy. So, let's end it. Yes, that's how you do it. And from here, save game. Uh, Novgorod, turn three. There we go. So, good luck to Novgorod. Please don't attack me. I don't think he will attack me. You never know, though. But yes, finally. And I believe the part should be going up now, so... Hopefully, right now, future you, hopefully you were enjoying, well, hopefully you are enjoying the first part that I'm releasing right now, but you won't know that I released it right, well, well <coughs> ignore me. I'm, I'm glad for finally being done with this. So, good luck to the next person. Hopefully my allies will get uh, to me in time, or get to the Teutonic Gordian time. I guess time will tell. So, goodbye for now, and I will see you in the next one.